So now that you know those first couple of steps and you have them down and you're ready to roll, let's go over the pre-approval process. The most important step in the home buying process because without this, unless you have a good amount of cash laying around, won't get us anywhere. Hey guys, Kelsey Friedrich with Remax Elite here. The pre-approval process is going to tell us if we can buy or not. If it's a no, it will at least prepare us on what is needed to be able to get approved, whether it be credit or quick changes that could be made that you may be unaware of. The pre-approval will also let us know how much you're approved to borrow. Like I said in the last video, don't let this tell you how much you can spend monthly. You will wanna be comfortable with your monthly payment. To get pre-approved, you will need to do an application with a mortgage lender, which can be online, or if you would like, you could do that application in an office setting if you would prefer. I have reputable mortgage lenders to go through with many different programs to best fit your needs. This application will ask for your social security number to run your credit, as well as your income, employment, and assets. They may need some more info from you after the application, such as last one or two year tax returns, pay stubs, and bank statements. With this information, they will be able to tell you where you stand and what amount that you're approved to borrow. This step is crucial because without it, we will not be able to make any offer on any homes without this pre-approval letter that you'll get from just that little bit of info. Doing that application is the first step in owning your own home and every bit worth it. After getting that letter, the fun starts. Looking at homes and picking out your first investment. Got questions? Call me. I would love to talk real estate with you. My information is below and I hope to hear from you soon.